So if you have any problems hearing me, just let me know. Um, you can write in the comments. I am going to play with putting some lo-fi beats on. Um, so it's an experiment, so we'll see how it works. So let's get started. So find yourself in a comfortable seat uh, with your, your spine tall and your hips elevated just enough so that way your inner thighs can feel a bit of ease and your knees can come relax. So that might mean a blanket or a block or book whatever you have at home, underneath those sit bones. Good. And take a moment to move your shoulders from side to side. They can be moving at the same time, or maybe it feels better to move them individually. And you can even let your neck find some play into this shoulder roll. Good. Begin to curve your upper spine so you can rock from left sit bone to right sit bone as you draw the shoulder up towards the ear and then away. Breathing into your rib cage. Good. And then find a neutral stance in your spine. And we're going to take our fingers right to the sides of our ribs, good. And just start to feel around in your rib cage. So if you've been with me the last few weeks of this quarantine, we've been really taking it slow and getting into the somatic body by means of touch and self-massage and simplicity. And we're gonna stay with that theme, but we're gonna work off of it a little bit. So keep moving your fingers in between your ribs. So this can move any way that feels right for you in the front of your rib cage in the back just start getting into the nitty-gritty the muscles the bones breathe so today we're to expand off of the last few weeks moving from that first chakra second chakra and staying with the consistency of rooting down but now allowing for transition so speaking of transition keep your palms moving good and then find a place on your rib cage to just find a bit of stillness as we breathe and talk through it. Lean your chest back, breathe into your bottom ribs. Exhale everything out. Good, keep breathing just like that, any way that feels right for you. So I'm not gonna tell you how to breathe. I want you to breathe in a way that feels really natural for you. So in this time of transitions, we're trying to figure out our new normal here in this crazy and quite scary um, epic pandemic that's happening. It becomes really challenging to figure out where to place your feet. Where do we even start to ground? But we must, right? We have to. That's just what we do. We survive. We put one foot in front of the other. And as a community, we keep moving forward. Keep breathing. So with today's focus, it will be on transitions. Knowing that eventually they get from one step to the other. They help us to do that. And yes, it's ambivalent. It's a really uncomfortable place to be in transition. So honoring that. Keep your breath moving even deeper into your bottom ribs. So much that they can create expansion. Move your breath into your upper rib cage. You can even place the palms to your upper chest. Let's all place the palms to our upper chest. And feel the breath expand and release. Expand. 
and release. We will be inviting a bit more flow into the practice. The last few weeks have been very hapa based, rooted, stationary. Today we're going to move it just a bit. If that's uncomfortable for you, then take it down a notch. You guys know you can adjust your practice any way that feels right. You can expand to it by adding advanced postures or you can simplify it. Relax your bottom jaw. Let it go, really let it go. You can even move it around if it's finding its way to become hard or stationary. On your next exhale, find that your palms release ever so gently into your thighs, upward facing. Breathe into your low belly. And exhale to your low back. And so these places of transition affect everyone's body very differently. So I want you to tune into that. When you go from pose to pose, what are you really feeling? How are you feeling it? And process that it's okay to feel that. We might not fix it, but just feeling it is where we need to be today. Please take your hands to Namaskar at your heart. We'll take three rounds of Om. Everybody, I I it. It. all your voices. Take a deep breath into your low belly. Find a child's pose on your mat. Feel for extending your fingers out in front of you and allowing them to be wide. You can invite movement and play into your child's pose or stay stationary. But most importantly, breathe. You can feel your fingertips begin to move forward and back as it adjusts your upper spine, your shoulder blades, and those fingertips will even allow you to find some breath and movement in your low back as it radiates. Inhale to come forward into a table pop pose. 
Take a deep breath in your tabletop. Widen your collarbones, grip through your fingertips, press through your index finger, and press it back to a child's pose. Good, inhale, come back to your tabletop pose one more time. Lengthen your breastbone, widen your collarbones, curl your toes, pull your belly in, inhale. And exhale, send your seat back, keep your navel pulled in, child's pose. Exhale, everything out. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, deep pose, left palm to the inside of your mat right of the center line, right palm up towards the ceiling, left knee to the ground. Inhale, reach your right palm up. Exhale, send it to the webcam, send it to each other, to the center of your room. Let your head go, let it just relax. Good, inhale, lengthen the arm back up to the ceiling, reach away, and exhale, change. Switch your arms, right palm to the center of your mat, left palm up, gate pose, inhale, reach up, exhale, reach away. Relax your head, relax your jaw. Inhale, take your palm back up to the ceiling. Find your wingspan as if you're taking flight through your fingertips. And change, palms to the floor, downward facing dog. Hips up, hips back. Five breaths to stay in your down dog or to do whatever you need to do. You can lift a leg, you can move through a vinyasa. Most importantly, breathe right into those ribs that you found space in the beginning of class. Relax your jaw. Exhale to bend your knees and on your inhale, you're going to walk or jump, find your way to the front of your mat and fold forward. Let's allow this forward fold to be gentle and receptive so your feet can be hip distance apart if that feels better for you. Bend those knees, allow the thighs to support your belly and let your head just fall off. Any variation of forward fold that you'd like to incorporate, take that now. Breathe into your heart and let your palms and your arms become very heavy so heavy that it takes even more strength from your thighs to support them. Roll your spine up and come to your stand. Allow your head to be the last to your stand. I'm gonna try this music thing. Does it all sound okay by you guys? A little bit. <laughs> if it becomes disruptive, I'll turn it off.
Okay, hands in on the sky, please. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your chest. And exhale, fold. Step it back, right foot to the ground. Allow the knee to drop and just settle in here. So I guess the music isn't sounding so good, so we'll turn it off. You don't need it. Okay. Stay here with fingertips propped up or fingertips to your block. Plank pose. Feet back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, find your cobra pose. Lengthen your breastbone, take your elbows back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up, hips down. Inhale, right foot to step it forward. Exhale, knee to the ground. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Feet forward, feet together. Inhale, step. Reach your arms up, lift up, deep breath. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up, go up. Exhale, fold. Left foot to step back behind you. Inhale your breastbone forward, drop the knee to the floor. Good, inhale, plank pose, step your feet back. And exhale your knees, your chest, and your chin. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot right away, step it through and forward, release the right knee to the ground. Breathe. Inhale, right foot to step forward. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms up, lift up. Exhale, namaskar. Good. Right away, inhale, lift your arms up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Right foot to step back. Knee to the ground. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra pose. Lengthen your breastbone. Send your elbows back. Downward facing dog, hips up, hips back. Inhale, right foot, step it through and forward. Release the back. Good, feet forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, monoscar. Inhale, left side, reach up. Fold. Step your left foot back, knee down. Plank. Knees, chest, and chin, Ashtanga Namaskar. Cobra. Down dog. Left forward. Step, release the right knee. Inhale, feet forward, fold. Reach your arms up, lift up, deep breath in. Exhale, Namaskar. Good, one more round all together. Inhale, reach up, go back, fold. 
Right foot to step back, chest up. Plank, step your heels back. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin. Inhale, come through. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Left knee drops. Feet together. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go forward. Left foot steps back. Knee down. Plank. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha. Keep your navel in, set the left foot forward. Release the right knee. Feet together. Inhale, lift your arms up, reach up. And exhale, let's go. Allow your hands to come to your side for a mountain pose, Tadasana, just to stay and Utkatasana, the chair pose. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift your arms up. You can keep your hands about shoulder distance apart, or if it feels good for your upper spine, you can take hands at prayer at the top. Draw your low belly in. Sit even deeper in your seat. Feet, feel the weight of your heel. Stay for three breaths. Two more, sit a little deeper, reach a little higher. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, gaze forward, and either step or hop back to Chaturanga. You can lower down into knees, chest, chin. Inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale to reach your left leg up towards the ceiling, extend it high. Warrior one, left foot to step forward, inhale, stoop your arms up. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to lift high. Warrior one. Left heel to the ground, hips facing forward. Draw your ribs in, reach your arms up, breathe. Chaturanga. Step back, lower down. Inhale, move your chest through your shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can shake your head out here in down dog. You can move it from side to side in your hip flexors. Look forward, exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, hop or step. Lengthen your spine, come to the front of your mat, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, Samasthiti. Right foot to step behind you, warrior two. Three breath to stay. And as we continue to flow through this practice, right, we might be moving faster than you intended on this morning. Note that, 
Do what your body needs to do. Reverse your warrior. Take your left palm up towards the ceiling. Reach your right palm towards the right calf. Keep your left knee tracking forward. Inhale, reach your palm up and away. Exhale into side body stretch. Inhale, lift your torso back up. And on your exhale, take your forearm to the thigh or take your left palm to the inside of your left foot. That right palm will sweep all the way towards your webcam or the front of your room. Okay, you're feeling for extension through right. Baby pinky finger. Root your right heel down. Breathe into your low back. Breathe into your middle one. Breathe into your upper back. One more breath to stay. Inhale, lift your torso up, right back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg for goddess pose. So carve the left toes towards your right side. If you're facing the side of your mat, walk your heels in. Take your toes out. Take your arms out. Bend your elbows and on your exhale, you're gonna find your goddess and sit into the pose. Lift your toes up. Good. Preparing for prasarita, press your heels down, pull your low belly in. Notice if your chest is leaning further forward or further back, align it over your hip flexors. So a little deeper, lift those toes a little more, spread them, good. Press your feet down, carve your toes in, prasarita. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold. Hands to the outsides of your feet or your calves. Inhale, take a look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Any variation of your prasarita that you'd like to enjoy today, take it. So that means if you're working on your inversions, like your forearm stand or your headstand, those are here for you. One more breath where you are. If you're up, make your way down. Hands to your hip flexors. Inhale, lift halfway. Stay in halfway prostorita. Shift the weight to the big toe mounds of your feet. Bend your knees, guys, if you need to. You're putting a lot of pressure on the back of your hamstrings or your, your inner knees. Okay, pull your belly in. Press through your legs, through your heels. Inhale, lift. Goddess pose once more. Toes face out, heels face in. Inhale, wide arms, bend elbows. Sit in your goddess pose. Lift through your toes, heels to the ground. Pull your belly in, inhale. Good, straighten your legs, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, triangle pose, left toe forward, left palm forward. Move at your own rate, that feels good for you. Adjust your stance, right? You might need to walk your heel back. You might need a block. Breathe to your tailbone. And then breathe into your heart. Good, look forward, bend through the front knee, step back, plank pose. 
Vashisasana onto your right hand, side plank or gate pose, what we did in the beginning of class, right? Inhale, lift your hips up. If you have advanced variations, take them, reach up. Vashisasana to the other side. Move with ease, belly in, left palm to the floor. Hips up, chest up, reach up. Plank. Lower onto your belly. Sphinx pose, forms out in front of you. Elbows under your shoulders, spread your fingers. Remain in your sinks or press to your palms and lift your elbows off the floor. About an inch or two. Look up, gaze up. Downward facing dog. Exhale to bend your knees. Inhale, step or hop. Lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release. Relax your jaw. Relax your face. And please step the left foot back, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Left palm back, right arm up and away. Keep your right knee tracking forward, pull your low belly in, lift your heart, reach your way. Inhale, lift your torso back in line with your hips, warrior two. Prepare for extended side angle, form to thigh or right palm to the inside of that right foot. Left palm sweeps all the way forward to your webcam or to the room in front of you. Breathe deep. Two more breaths. Watch that right shoulder drop back. Inhale from low belly, lift your arms back up. Good. Straighten your front leg. Carve the right toes in. Prepare for a goddess posture. Bend your knees. Lift your toes. Inhale, bend your arms. Sit low. This time we'll take our right arm under our left, finding a twist through your elbows. Inhale, press your palms towards one another. Exhale, sit lower. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up, straighten your legs, prasarita. Exhale, fold. Inhale to take your hands to your inner hip crease and you're going to lift up halfway. Good. Press your feet down. Pull up on your kneecaps. Pull in through your abdominals and your ribs. And inhale, lift up. Goddess pose once more. Last time, heels in. 
toes out. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, this time left arm under right arm. Inhale, reach your elbows up. Exhale, sit into your seat. Relax your jaw, breathe, stay for three. Breathe for two. Lift your chest a little bit higher for one. And inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, prepare for trikonasana. Right toes forward, right palm forward. Inhale, lift your breastbone. Exhale, move when it feels good. Look forward, bend through the front knee, step forward, feet together. Fold. Seated squat, pop your feet wide, hands to your heart. Find a block underneath your tailbone or stay where you are. Half Titibhasana, hips up, about halfway. Take your palm, left palm to the center of your mat, about a foot out in front of you. Inhale, right arm up. And feel for either staying here, lengthening from your hip flexors to your left heart, or work towards a bind. Okay, you can take a half bind, right hand to left hip. Maybe left palm to find right hand. Underneath the Make sure you're breathing, guys. I can't hear you on here. So <laughs> you have to be accountable over there. Breathe deep into your low belly, all the way up to your third eye. Good, and slowly find your way through center. To the other side. Right palm to the mat, left palm up. Find your variations, stay here, or take your half bind. Right, so the more the knees are bent, the less resistance we'll feel in our low back. Right? So meaning if we bend our knees and we hug our thighs in and we pull our low belly, we're protecting that sacral area. Right? You can find some places of of grace and ease by letting the muscle tension go about halfway through the pose and then pulling it back in, right? It's a balance. So you can't be all or nothing. It's somewhere in between. Stay with it, keep your breath moving. Good. And slow, find your seated squat. Stay here or take your crow pose. So if you're taking your crow pose, your palms will come down in front of you. If you have a block, you can take a block behind you. Sit onto the block with your feet, palms to the floor, elbows hugging in, bend your elbows, look way forward, guys. Not back, forward. And like a bird taking off, like a crow, go. Lift your toes up, pull your belly in. Look forward, stay forward, breathe, focus. Five, four, three, stay with it, two, and step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, define an upward facing or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing. Knees to the ground to find either your forearm stand or your child's pose. If you're working towards your form stand, right, you'll take your hands to your upper arms for your measurement and your palms and your forms will find the ground. Shifting weight forward, look forward, maybe lifting heels and hips up. 
Okay, if you have a full practice, move into that. If you're new at this pose, you can work with looking forward, hips forward, heels up. Maybe one left. Eventually, pulling knees in. Good, if you're up, make your way down. Sit onto your heels. Two camel poses. Sit your hips back, inhale, and then sit your hips forward. Knees are hip distance apart. You can curl your toes underneath. Take your hands to your sides or just below the low back. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, stay here or move deeper. Allow your head to just relax. Support yourself for your thighs. Change. Inhale, lift through your chest. Sit back through your heels. Exhale, let it go. Keep those eyes open. Okay. Camel number two. Let's go. Hips up. Hands to lower back, we're finding hands to ankles. Feel for lifting so far out of your inner thighs that your heart just shoots up. Okay, inhale, lift up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift out. Downward facing dog, hips up, hips back right away. Exhale to bend your knees. Inhale to step or hop. Lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. Right foot to lift up for tree pose. The foot can be above or below the knee. Hands at Namaskar or up towards the ceiling. If you work with a half lotus, take your half lotus into your handstand. Okay. Good, if you're in your handstand, half lotus, make your way back out to meet us in traditional tree pose. We'll all take that right knee into our right low belly. The first step is to stay here. The second step is to interlace your hands underneath the right foot. Keep that left leg straight, strong. Inhale, kick your heel forward. Third step, right? So maybe this is too much for low back. That's okay. Keep the knee bent. Stay here. If your leg extended, inhale, lengthen your breastbone and exhale, bend your elbows. The final steps for you guys is rounding your spine, drawing the low belly in. Head to knee. And change. Lift up and lift up. Woo! Oh, one of the hardest postures. I think, in this sequence. Inhale, prepare for tree pose on the other side. Any variation that you'd like. If you're in your half lotus, be sure to find that handstand on the other side. Good. 
here in your handstand, find your way back to your tree. Inhale, prepare to draw the knee through center. Stay here. Strong right leg. Low belly in. Variation one, as you are. Variation two, interlace your hands underneath your left heel or rather your left big toe mount. Press down into your foot, shift your weight into the right big toe, inhale, look forward, and maybe the final stab kick. Three. Sustain. And if you have your kick, your bend your elbows, and maybe eventually around the spine. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, kick to come up. Woo, good job, everybody. That's, that's not easy stuff. Okay, inhale, lift your arms up, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your right foot back, happy asana. We've made it to the floor, thank God, right? <laughs> Low lunge. You guys know this posture pretty well. You can take your hands to your, your hips, your thigh, or up above, any variation that you got. Breathe deep. Inhale, hands to the mat. Step your right knee inwards. We're gonna move through this Dharma sequence a little bit faster than normal. Left palm to inside of left foot, right palm up. Of course, slow down if you need to. Your body should be pretty warm at this point. Stay here or find your binds. If you work with an extended variation of that right leg, then do that. And find your meditation in your third eye. If you're in the extended variation in that right leg, you can straighten the front leg. Right, with your bind, that feels really nice. Release the right knee if it's up. Unbind, inhale, lift your warrior two arms, and on your exhale, twist to your left, right elbow, left thigh. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, find your twist. Again, either stay here, hands at Namaskar, or work on your variation of binds, legs lifted. Good, and if you're up, release the right knee, palms to frame that front foot, half or full Hanumanasana, walk those palms back, Curl the left toes up, or sit onto your heel. Okay, if you're working on your full Hanuman, we'll begin to shift the hips forward. Bend through the front knee, bend through the back knee, open right quad. Relax your jaw. So for those of you that are working on your arm balances or your back bends, right, you're going to find your movement and what feels okay for you. So it might feel really uneasy at first, right? It just takes lots of practice. I've been doing this for over 10 years now, so my body just knows where to go. But be easy with yourself. So you have a few options. You can take yourself up right into right, your half. Hanuman, or rather, where am I going with this? Your full wheel, right? So maybe you want to move into your full wheel with the arm variation of left palm 
to left to outer foot. Bend the elbows like Dhanurasana and hug them in, lengthen the leg. Okay. And if you're not going to go there or into any wheel, then you're just going to feel the shifting forward, coming to right palm and finding Vashi Svasana one more time. And if you have something that's out of this world that I don't even know about, go for it. <laughs> have some fun. Breathe, guys. It looks good. Nice, Chris. Nice, Crystal. That's it, Patty. Nice. Keep those hips lifted. Breathe deep. Stay for one more. Ah, downward facing dog. We'll make our way to the other side in some time. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale. <sighs> One more in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Good. Extend the right leg. Lift it high and step it forward. The Kapyasana pose. Release through left knee. Low lunge. Take your variations. Inhale, lift your hips up. Take your palms to the inside of your front foot. And inhale, open left arm to the ceiling. Find your half bind to full binds. Stay in breathe. For those of you that took the variations of your binds and extended left foot, move here, eventually finding maybe if you put your triangle. Prepare to break the pose. Inhale, lift your chest up, warrior two arms. And exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, press your outer left elbow into right thigh. Lean back. Take your body and dip the thumb on the other side. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Your bound begins to unbound. Inhale, lift your torso up and prepare for your half of full Hanumanasana. Hips go back, right toes go up. Walk your palms back. Maybe your full pose. Bend through front knee, bend through back knee. And relax your shoulders wherever you are. Your side of plank or Vashisasana with your left palm to the floor. So if you're working on the advanced variation, if you're in your full split, palms come down, curl left toes, pull the right foot up and over. Any variation, guys, go for it. Good. 
So maybe it's a good time to pull wheel on to the floor. Stay for three. Lift your hips wherever you are. Two. And one. Change. Slow. To come out. Downward facing. Exhale. Allow the knees to come to the ground. Child's pose extended with arms forward. Inhale, forward pose. Belly to the floor, chest bar. Child's pose. Three more, just like that, guys. Inhale, to come through. Exhale, to press back. Two more. One more. Hips back. Inhale, chest through. This one to stay and to breathe. So find a height that is sustainable. That means you have to lower it or you have to lift it. Tune in to where your body's at. Reach through your jaw. Keep the bend in your elbows. Lower halfway. Press back, child's move. Inhale, thumb to sit up, send your feet forward. You guys have totally rocked the standing series of the postures. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, it's a big accomplishment, a lot of work. Dandasana, stop pose. Flex your feet, palms to the side. Just stay here and feel the connection of your sit bones to the earth. This pose for me was completely underrated for like the last 10 years. And this year I was like, oh, this posture is so awesome. Um, some postures just click with us at different times, right? This posture is really stable. One unit. Strong. Thank you. One with collarbones. Take your hands to your outer knees and then draw your knees in. Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your heart. And exhale, stay here for control. Inhale, lift your breastbone. Take the right knee and draw it in. And you're gonna take that leg wide. The left foot should be at your center line. You're gonna take that left foot as close as you can to the inside of your left thigh. So the further away your foot is, the more intense the posture can be on your knees and your hips. So adjust appropriately. So give you a wide leg variation. Right palm or right fingertip to the outside of your right foot. Inhale, turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach your palm towards your toes. Breathe into your mouth. We'll take the gaze to come down towards the floor here. Inhale, lift up and out. Switch your legs. Take your hand to your right knee. Extend the left leg. Sit your weight forward. Right foot to the inside of left. At any point that you want to find a little bit more of a lift through your low back, you can take a blanket right underneath the tailbone or under one hip. Left fingertip, left palm to outer left leg. Inhale, reach your right arm up. 
exhale, reach the toes. Inhale, right side body. Exhale, left side body. Good. Inhale, chain, lift up, lift out. Use your left hand, draw that knee in. And we'll find bridge pose. So we'll take three bridges or three wheels. See, hip distance apart, take your arms out in front of you, slow, lift your legs down. We'll engage into the abdominals, put low belly in, lower for 10. Stay lifted through your chest. See you guys, good. <laughs> good work. For nine, for eight, navel in, chest long for seven. Good. Five it should be halfway down. Your gut should be shaking like mine is. Four, three, two, stay for two, and one release. Walk your heels in, walk your feet in. Bridge pose. Shoulders under the back. Inhale, press your feet down. Exhale. Lift your hips up. For those of you ready to work into your full wheel, we'll take your palms just to the sides of your ears, fingertips facing shoulders. Inhale, hips up, exhale, head to the floor. Inhale, lengthen arms. Exhale. And change, lower upper, middle, low back. Exhale. Back bend number two, lower your feet to the ground. Hands can come either into your half of full wheel or bridge again. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Hmm. Third and final back bend can be the wheel, can be the bridge, or it can be Yogi's choice. So any back bend that you want to get into, go for it. We'll have about one minute. Keep those thighs drawing in, guys. Yeah. Allow your breath to be even deeper. Beautiful, Marielle. Keep reaching through your upper spine, through your heart, through your throat. Last two breaths. Stay with it. You've got it. And then slow to exhale, draw your navel in to come up and out. Allow your hips to find the floor wherever you are. And we'll just take a very gentle hold with the knees to our low belly. Inhale, come to sit up, use your abdominals. And take that left knee forward for pigeon pose. Right leg back. Inhale, hips forward. Blocks or blankets underneath your hip flexor if you need to. That goes back to you. Find your back bend. Or extend your palm. Take it easy.
Inhale to lift your breastbone up, lift your torso and walk your palms back in. Should have long arms, right toes curled. So at this point, I'd like to find a lizard pose to get a little bit deeper into our hip flexors. We're gonna take the abdominal transition. Right? You're gonna pull your right knee off the floor. You're gonna draw your left knee to your forehead. You're gonna stay and you're gonna hold because you're awesome and you can do it. Good, breathe for three. Breathe for two, one more breath, and then you're gonna take that left foot as gracefully as you can right to the outside of your left palm. You might need to bend that knee to get it there or take the hand to the foot. But either way, the left foot is to the outside for a lizard pose. We're gonna allow this to be very yin-like. So we're winding down. You can take your books, your blocks, whatever you can to stay lifted. Right? And if you don't have those things, you can still find a way to relax. Let your fingers go. Relax your toes. Relax your head. Breathe into your hip flexor. Feel free to explore this pose. You can lift the foot off the floor. If you're interested in making the posture more challenging, you can take your head underneath your leg or you can fly into your arm balance to your chin stand. I'm gonna stay right here though because I'm really enjoying this yin pose. So if you wanna take the advanced, you know who you are, you can go for it. Really let the fingertips go, let them relax. Let your toes relax. Two more deep breaths. Slowly begin to make your way out of the pose. We'll find a downward dog transition. Again, being mindful how you transition in and out of the poses. Take your time. The left knee to come, or rather the right knee to come forward for your pigeon pose on the other side. This variation is ever too much. Fly onto your back for figure four. Right foot over left. Deep breathing. Imagine swirls of breath and fluidity moving, circulating throughout your nervous system. Your left side, your right side, your meridians. Walk your palms back in. And we'll find that transition with abdominals. Press your palms down, curl your left toes, lift your left leg off the floor, pull your belly in and right foot off the floor. Knee to forehead for three. 
You might need to walk your hands back in for two. Lift the leg even higher, round your spine for one, and then slow to place that foot to the outside any way that you can release the left knee to the ground and find your yin variation of lizard pose. So a very relaxed lizard. Super chill. Fingers relaxed, toes relaxed. Mm. Inhale to come to your palms, extend your legs. You're going to find your hips to shift back, your right foot and hips to come back, and leg up to your back, turn over. Draw your knees into your low belly. And on your exhale, twist them up and over to your left side. Exhale. Inhale, knees to low belly. Through center line and exhale, twist to your right, left arm to the side. Inhale to come through center. Exhale to find your shoulder stand, the restorative variation, hips down, legs up. If you're working deeper, you'll take your hands to your low back, rock your feet back, walk your elbows in, maybe take a leg up. Whether you're in the restorative variation or the full posture, find a third eye focal point. Invite breath, invite color, whatever you need to stay here. Palasana, the plow pose, legs up and over your head. Mm -hmm. And just enjoy that feeling if you're in your plow, or if you're in your restorative, you're, you're staying where you are, stay put. If you're in your plow, feel that connection of your, your chin to your throat, the restriction, and the ability to breathe and maintain stability through restriction. Slowly lower into your fish posture, your upper, middle, and low back. 
find the floor. Walk your hands underneath the hips. Extend your toes forward, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, release your head back. One big breath of fire, Bastrika breath into our fish pose. Fast breath through the nose. Go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale. Lift your heart and slowly release onto your back. Happy baby to finish and close the practice. Hands to your outer feet. Feel for massaging and rocking side to side. Your kidneys, your hip bones. And allow this rock to be subtle and gentle, calming. Find your happy baby to come to stillness. And just allow your knees to become happy. Yeah. Draw your knees in and one at a time, release your legs out in front of you for your Shavasana. So at this point, if you'd like to bundle yourself up, light incense, or create a space that's more comfortable, please do that. We'll begin our Shavasana with five rounds of exhale to the sound of the bell. Relax your arms, your legs, your hips, your whole body. Inhale through your nose, deep breath, the deepest you have taken all class. Pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in, hold at the top. Exhale through your mouth. Empty, 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 empty. Inhale the breath, face of the spine. Keep pulling the energy up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Hold at the top. Exhale through your mouth, let it go. Three more, just like that. Inhale. Face of spine. Retain the breath at the top. <sighs> Inhale, face of spine. Retain at the top. Last one. Empty the breath. Inhale, face the spine. Retain.
Into your way from your fingertips and your toes, and then lay somewhere. And you make your way into fetal position, into your higher side. Press yourself up to a seat for final meditation. Before we close our practice, I'd like us to take a moment for meditation and gratitude. So something that fills your heart with a sense of joy. It fills you up with ease. What are you grateful for? Allow it to be simple. And imagine that gratitude stemming from that place in your heart and your brain and igniting all the cells and muscle bones in your body. It's ingrained in your body. We're going to send that vibration outward to each other, to London, to New York, right? And keep imagining it to grow so big that eventually we can fill the universe with our gratitude. And once you found its way to that cosmic level, bring your awareness back to that gratitude in your body. The three rounds of own inhale. rest of your weekend. I definitely went way over, so <laughs> I apologize. But what else are we doing today, right? A little bit of more yoga. Thanks. Feel good, guys. Stay healthy, and I can't wait to see you all next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to stay. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. That was lovely. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.